This is London calling in the overseas service of the British Broadcasting Corporation. I have to tell you now that no such undertaking has been received and that consequently this country is at war with Germany. battleship, Graf Spee, which has been for many weeks preying upon the trade of the South Atlantic and met her doom. Mother dear, I'm riding you from somewhere in France, hoping this finds you well. We shall fight in France, we shall fight on the seas and oceans, we shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall never surrender. of the RAF with the Navy. And Rodney, which did some pretty work with her 16-inch guns. Ah, this is not the end. Uh, it is not even the beginning of the end. Uh, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. <laughs> but the Japanese high command had declared that a state of war existed with Great Britain and the United States. The German Navy, so proudly built up by that smug strategical genius, the Führer, is slowly but surely being wiped out. Now the Scharnhorst, the 26,000-ton battleship, has gone to the bottom not unusual result of action against the Royal Navy. Led by a powerful British escort, the main body of the surrendered Italian fleet is transferred from Malta to Alexandria. Signed the act of unconditional surrender of all German land, sea, and air forces in Europe to the Allied Expeditionary Force. the China Sea for the last large-scale surrender at Hong Kong, where today warships of the Royal Navy ride at anchor in the harbor. Hello and welcome back to the port. I'm the Gav Major and this is Back to the Port where we will be doing the Monday live stream uh, where we'll be taking a first look post patch. But uh, first of all, good evening, chaps. Uh, hello and welcome. Uh, I'd like to say hello to Action Pumper, to Jeff Permanent, Amal Criff, Mike Gaming, Mara Sov, Sean Whitling, uh, 
think that's everyone from the start, so good to see you, good to see you. So the plan this evening is we'll be playing through some of the uh, ships which have been kindly loaned to me by uh, World of Warships Legends uh, community team. Um, the reason being is obviously being a CC, uh, it's within their interest obviously to have me try and... Uh, plug their content but what we'd be doing really is well, i'm not really here to plug it i'm just here to to see what it's like so there goes hearts of oak yeah that's about right that's about right so um we'll be taking a look um what we we'll do we we'll start with the saipan then we move into the des moines uh then we we'll move on to the flander then we might look at the suzuya i know she's an existing ship but obviously she's come to the game for global speed and then we might take a, uh, a look at the pan european commander um because we're not really sure what's going on there. Uh, we yet to see some real confirmation as to what's going on, but we'll take a look at him anyway, and then we'll see what else we can do. Now, obviously, um, like some of you are saying, um, oh, hello, competitive gamer, good to see, good to see. Um, like some of you are saying is that one of the downsides, obviously, with some ships coming to the Bureau is you can't see the stats, you can't see the armor and things like that. You've kind of, you can see the missions to get there, but you can't take a proper look at the ship. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a... Uh, obviously, it's after the watershed here in the UK, so we can take a look at these ships naked um, before we put a commander and any modules on them. So first of all, we'll start with Saipan, and then we'll just we'll play a game with Saipan, then we'll look at the Des Moines, and we'll work our way up. Um, Barra, yeah, I'm happy to have you uh, join in with the division. Um, obviously, the caveat is we will be jumping, probably playing quite a lot of high, high tiers. Um, so, obviously, um, it, I think you've got high tier ships, actually, I think you said. So, yeah, I might, uh, might quickly um, drop out some invites, if people are about. Uh, let's pick up Mara. If anyone else is about, feel free to shout out. Uh, Hugo looks interested, as well as a Shan. Now, those are the two ships that we don't have, um, unfortunately. Um, but we do have um, the Saipan, we do have the Des Moines, and uh, we do have a couple of other things. So, first of all, let's start off with the Saipan, because obviously, uh, carrier play can be a little bit dull. Um, so, modules-wise, I'm not seeing anything particularly different, is the best way to put it. It looks like pretty much all the standard stuff. I'm not going to be equipping any of these yet, because we obviously want to take a look at the stats. For those of you who obviously do want to take a look at the stats, hopefully my webcam doesn't block it, and you can then uh, just um, screenshot or pause as we go along. Um, Loadout-wise, there's nothing really different here, especially to put it. Um, some of the stats there, I think that's all pretty generic, really. Um, yeah, nothing really to add there. Going on to the stats here, so HP and armor, okay. Now, the, the squadron size is six aircraft. Restore time's a minute and a half. Okay, so that's quite a big hamper on the Saipan, it looks like. So, aircraft attrition is going to be uh, quite devastating to the Saipan, I guess you could say. A defense, obviously, it's worth noting that there's no long range AA. Uh, it's all, Mac, your largest kind of AA there is 40 millimeter both us. Maneuverability, that's quite a reasonable speed. Quite a large turning circle, though, which is quite surprising. Very slow rotor shift. Concealment, looks acceptable. To be honest, that looks actually quite good, and I bet you can get that even better with some uh, commander um, skills and stuff. Armor view, um, now with the side pan, it doesn't look that amazing, really. You look like you're mostly resistant against 8-inch uh, guns, uh, but you do have a bit of an armor belt, which can obviously angle against... 14 inch guns, but really honestly with a carrier, you're not really sailing around in it, you're kind of like angling it and stuff like that, you're kind of just uh, mapping your course and hoping for the best, uh, but for those of you who are looking to try and kill a Saipan, uh, there's the Citadel location, so uh, I guess you can probably go mm, aim for the funnels, if you aim for the funnels and the bridge kind of centralish and very low to the water. It looks like she might be slightly more survivable up close in comparison to the long range, pardon me. Um, but yeah, okay, so that's the Saipan um, overview here. Double the pain, torpedo bombs drop two torpedoes. Now, this is rather amusing because the torpedo craft are here on the back. And if you take a look, they've only got one torpedo. So somehow, these aircraft, which are carrying a single torpedo, will drop two torpedoes. <laughs> Historically accurate? I don't know. Where's the second torpedo? Um... <laughs> So yeah, um, now the aircraft apparently are quite tough and quite fast, uh, so that probably makes up for the very slow recovery time 
I guess you could say, for these aircraft. So that's the overview, the armor, the stats, the loadout, um, and the upgrade. So hopefully, if any of that does interest you, you can screen basically pause as we go. Um, I will, sorry Mara, I'm just gonna, eh, sorry, <laughs> just better be, better be safe than sorry. Um, all right, okay, um, so, um, we've gone this. Um, so it looks like the restore time is probably quite poor, so I'm gonna focus on the restore time. Um, we have quite good HP aircraft, but part of me is kind of concerned about getting carrier sniped, especially with the Russian carriers at the moment, so I probably will go for an AA build. Um, concealment, most certainly. And last but not least, let's see what we got an option. We've got aircraft cruise speed, return speed and HP, but we know we've got a lot of HP, so let's just go some more AA and see how that goes. And then commander-wise, uh, let's put King on there. And King, he's got a bit of an AA build, a bit of concealment build, is basically what I'm playing with this one. Um, so hopefully a bit of survivability. So we just put a credit modifier on there. Put a flag on. Get some credits. And then we'll go with the Saipan. The aircraft models are off. Uh, they should be Douglas AD Sky Raiders. Hmm. Many thanks, Mega Man. I'll have to. Obviously, I'm not up to this is the thing. Like my my hobby, my interest is mostly Royal Navy. So obviously, my awareness on uh, American aircraft and aircraft carriers and things like that is off. But um, much appreciated. Um, yeah, I'll have. To, I'll, that's uh, that's worth mentioning. Thank you. Hello, Jeff Day as well. Good evening, good evening. CVO as a premium. Mm, yes, a light, light carrier. Ooh, an Akazuki. I hope you're running an AA build on that. Right, tally ho, here we go. Nagasaki port looks wonderful. Yes, it does look very nice. Hello, Jets fan. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Major, looks what's teased in the last two steps of the side pound bureau. Um, mm, okay, we'll take a look. We'll take a look. I'll have to remember that one. Hello, competitive gainer. A gamer, sorry. Um, can't wait for summer break. I will grind the uh, the. Excuse your French. Remember, try try to keep uh, language to the minimum if you can, chaps. Uh, but yeah, give it a good grind. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Uh, yeah, well, uh, last two step steps is jets. Hmm. Obviously, that might not have anything to do with. Um, well, obviously, like Pan, she did operate. I think she did operate jets later on. Um, but maybe the reference to jets could be to the super carriers, uh, which uh, have come out recently over on PC. Okay, we need to get launched. Torpedo aircraft away. Let's see what we're up against. We have a Loyang, a Tallinn, a Suzuki, a Charles Mattel, um, a Colorado Flander, a Richelieu, a Georgia, and August von Parseval. So AA is not too bad on the enemy team. Hmm. Obviously, I'd suspect the Charles Mattel would run a. Um... That's intra. Uh, I'm too far off to actually. Richelieu? She is in division. Charles Mattel. Let's have a little bit of a scout here. Oh. Oh, okay, that's a very interesting spread. But the Loyang has her AA turned off. So this is the thing with destroyers. Once the aircraft are hovering around you, you might as well turn your um, AA on. Because um, there's no real advantage to keeping it turned off because you're already spotted. Right, we're going to slow this right down. Two torpedoes. Oh, the spread's always a very big V. Well, she's gone now. Very nice. Not going to complain about that. Right, I do need to try and get some fighter cover over Alpha Objective. Vaz, hello, hello, hello. Good to see you. Good evening. Damn it. 
Baz, Baz has missed out and actually updated his ghost. He's, he's got to wait around half an hour. Oh boy. <laughs> well, hopefully, Baz, uh, I'll keep you entertained. <laughs> Don't worry, Baz, the entertainment's free. <laughs> right, let's get that on the go. And then we'll drop some fighters. See if they can mop up some of these aircraft. I should really get my carrier moving, really. Yeah, the Rishlu is in is in high speed reverse. Let's get our carrier. Yeah, a little bit on the move. Yeah, I was expecting them to drop fighters. Maybe we'll start working over the Charlie objective. Yeah, if we can start working over the Charlie objective, that might be better. We'll have to see how these HE bombers actually work. I, I suspect they're dive bombers. Georgia is going to be a bit risky. Four bombs, same as Ranger. Uh, we should be alright just to quickly swing it round onto the Flander, but that is the AA of the Georgia. Hello, Randy Chang. Hello, hello. Vaz, uh, but you're not playing Warships today, Major. Uh, what's the aeroplane game? <laughs> Welcome to World of Airplanes. <laughs> no, hopefully, this will be the one and only carrier game we have to do this stream. Torpedo speed's like. That's pretty good. Hey, Manger, uh, do you get a first wind crate on ships on loan from Legends? Yeah, we do, actually. That's a good point. <laughs> See what we got. We got a talent that could do with mopping up. We did get clipping with one. I think the time's gonna go. Right, um, let's get this carrier moving. Cock 
Colorado next. Eighteen K and one torpedo strike. Jeez, yeah, that's if you get all four torpedoes on target. I think Saipan may be a very which might be quite a reasonable carrier. Nope, oh, there she goes. Let's just drop the fighters here just to get rid of the enemy fighter. Let's go after that cruiser. I think there's a bit of a very strange dogfight going on at the moment. I'm going to do that. There you go off to the left. Okay. I guess we'll go. Oh, we should we'll probably die. But we'll make sure of it. There's no way we can let that go. Surprised their carrier didn't drop fighter support. Might just keep moving with the main fleet, uh, mostly because the Saipan can. Honestly, I think I might like this one. I mean, 33 knots, decent close range AA, decent concealment, the aircraft hit like a brick. I think it's got some things going for it. Using the enemy carrier, not dropping fighters. Oh, that's because he dropped them over there.
Well, that's all she wrote. Sean, my wife said, what would you like to do to my body? And I said, identifying it was the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Blackmeister, hello, hello, hello. Um, I'm quick, I'm booted up in five minutes and available for a division. Okay. Much obliged. Major, being diplomatic is uh, insane. This CV is strong. No OP is the word you were looking for. <laughs> Potentially, yes, maybe. <laughs> oh, I'd love to join up for a division, uh, but I'm uh, stuck at work. Oh, all, all the best, Merkin, man. Maybe, maybe one day, you never know. Right. Hmm. Not too bad, not too shabby. A good game tomorrow as well. Right, so, um, what I'll do is because Chris said he's going to be uh, coming along, I will drop him. Can I drop him an invite? He's not on. No, oh, wait. He might just say, come on. There you go, Chris. And then what we do, what's in the box? Hunter paint. Okay, fair enough. Right, so that we done the done the Saipan. Yeah, no, I think she's she's interesting. Um, very surprised that she's a um, bureau reward. I'm going to be completely honest. Right, Des Moines time. So, okay, this is what a lot of people are probably excited about. So, first of all, let's start off with upgrades. Let's see anything special here. Nope, that looks pretty standard stuff. That again looks pretty standard. Again, standard, nothing special going on here. So there's no special modules, there's no secret main battery plotting room or anything like that. Right, there's your uh, damage control, five seconds, six second reload. Now you do have options between sonar, which has a range of 4.9 for detecting ships and a duration of 100 seconds. Or you can go for the AA consumable and that's last 40 second duration, 150 second reload. You get two number of those, or you can go for two number of sonar. I'll probably go sonar if I was you. So you can have four catapult fighters, the usual 100 second duration, 80 second reload. Or you can get four number spotting aircraft. Now I think this is quite interesting. Um, to get like a an accuracy buff on a cruiser. Um, whether this is a sign of things to come. It, it's, it's intriguing. It's, it's going to be also intriguing to see, does she actually need this? A 30 second duration, 200 second reload. Yeah, okay. Alright, interesting. Now we have radar, 9.9 .9 kilometers range. Um, so for all you DD players out there, you want to remember that number. You want to stay 9.9 .9 kilometers away from a Des Moines. 40 second duration, that is a really long duration. I mean, you're talking like 25, at t 25 seconds at tier 6, 30 seconds at tier 7, 40 seconds at legendary tier. So um, again, that's, I was going to say, only getting two of those. And you know what? Sorry, you know what? Going to be equipping one of those. Repair party, 252 HP per second for 28 seconds with an 80 second reload. Mm, nothing really exciting there. It's just a generic repair party, it seems, in regards to the amount of the HP of the ship that it will recover. Total hit points, 50,600. Armor, we'll take a look at that. Uh, torpedo reduction, 19%. Artillery, we have obviously those 8 inch guns with a 5.5 second reload, 15.5 kilometer range, 30 second traverse speed for 180 degrees of rotation, 14% chance of setting fire. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, you remember you've got that heavy AP as well. So that AP could be quite vicious. AA defense looks quite reasonable. Um, it looks like most of your. AA capability comes from those 76.2 millimeter guns, which uh, in total that's 335 uh, damage per second from all those guns. That is very aggressive. Uh, maneuverability 33 knots. It's not it's not amazing, but it's all it's all right for a cruiser. 8.6 second rudder shift, turn radius of 770 meters. So she might not be very kitey. Let's be honest. Concealment, 13 kilometers by sea, 7.8 by uh, air, and 7.5 from smoke. Let's take a look at the armor scheme. Right, so, that, so this part of the armor that is now highlighted can resist 15-inch guns. Now, necessarily, that's not superb. Uh, at the moment, I don't think we've seen a 15-inch gun uh, legendary tier battleship. So, really, against a legendary tier battleship, you're... you're 
you're going to have to rely on your agility, um, which already you can kind of see that that red shift and that turning circle may not be so favourable. But we'll take a look once we apply some modules. So if we um, take the bow and the stern off, we can then take a look. And now the superstructure is your typical 16 millimeters of plate. Nothing exciting going on there. Um, it's big. It's in the centre. Let's take that off. Um, upper armoured bow. Um, obviously, the belt we can ricochet 15-inch um, guns. The main armor deck can ricochet 16-inch guns. Okay, things get a little bit more interesting there, I guess you could say. Um, but it's an armor scheme which, amusingly, is very similar to the Baltimore, I guess you could say. So it's you've gone up a tier. Uh, the ships have got bigger guns, uh, but your armor hasn't improved. So that could be a slight detriment, but that really does make her a pure heavy cruiser. So this is the turret barbettes and the citadel. Uh, citadel, yes, it is above the waterline uh, and it's very long. Um, so if you're going to catch the broadside of this, yeah, you should be all right to uh, blap it. Overview, reloader, obviously that 5.5 second reload. Powerful AA, yet yeah, those 76.2 millimeter guns, very effective. Sluggish shot, we've kind of already covered that, the very slow high arcs of the guns. So that's the Bolty. Um, now I'm going to say that initially... The AA is quite good to start with. Hmm. I think the first one you want to do is you probably want to go for steering gears module 2. Then we'll take a look and we'll see what the rudder shift. Rudder shift drops to 5.2 seconds. Let's put a commander on there. Let's see. Who do we want? Um, could do Montpellier. Um, that's an AA cruiser build, but I don't think we're going to be coming up against an aircraft carrier. We could put Kincaid on there. Um, Kincaid does, is inspired by Baltimore. I, I want to just take that off initially, just for a little bit. Okay, so let's put a no... Uh, so I've taken Baltimore off, so this is a no pay to win agility build. Where does that get us to now? That takes us to a four second rudder shift. I don't think you need a Zerlane Baltimore for this. Um, I think you can get away without her. We've also improved the speed to 37.7 knots. That's very nice. Uh, that's using Muller as an inspiration. So on the basis of that, I think you can get away with going with propulsion mods. Now I'm a little bit concerned about the main battery range. So I'm going to put main battery on there and I'm going to put aiming systems so I'm a little bit concerned about the accuracy and then let's see what we can do from inspiration here we, we don't need a Zerlane Baltimore for sure let's try and pick something that's not pay to win we got cruiser uh, we need to pick cruiser there we go Let's see, what's a reasonable no pay to win? I mean, part of me is quite tempted to go with... I'm trying to find... A Fraser. Fraser could be quite interested. You know how I'm obsessed with speed and power. So let's do that. So now we have... Des Moines. Doing 38... Wait, wait, wait. We can improve this. 39.8 knots for a four second rudder shift. No pay to win. I think that's quite reasonable. Right, so let's put the rest on there. So let's get the flag on. Camo. Credit booster. Let's go for max. Global. Let's just let's just put everything on it. And we'll also we'll go for the gun range as well. Right, let's go with that, chaps. Hello, Sax. Hello, hello, hello. Joined us just in time to miss the aircraft carrier game. <laughs> Thank you, man. The, that's a Minotaur's range, range, uh, range and rate duration as well. Mm, yeah, no, I just thought it's worth highlighting, drumming it home a little bit, potentially. I think the uh, legendary radar is, uh, is a standard now, 9, point, uh, 9 and just 40, except Stalin. Oh, yeah, Stalin. Faz, I asked my wife what she'd do if she won the lottery. She said, hire a cook so you could say, just make me a sandwich any time you want. 
And I said, but we already have you for that. <laughs> uh, mines in my eyes need a nerf, a hard nerf. Well, let's see, because I have heard that uh, uh, Seven Hipper uh, got um, dev struck in his first game in the Des Moines. And so, here I am to get dev struck in the Des Moines. Although, I've only got one battleship, and this is a 16 inch gun battleship. We have two Worcesters in Alaska, three Minotaurs, a Siegfried, <laughs> and a Tashken. <laughs> this is interesting. Um, I think we'll go to, to C, or D, I should say. Let's see how this goes. So what we got here, we got a Minnow, and we got a Worcester, and we got the, uh... So amusingly, we've all gone for actual proper cruisers. We haven't gone for any of these, uh, battle cruisers, I guess you could say. What's the gun range now with that module? 16.7. That's not too bad. She feels... Not... Super kitey. I mean, you could obviously get a rudder shift better than this if you took steering... The, like, steering gears module 2. Worcester. But I think she's kite enough to stay, like, if you keep her at a reasonable range. What's my concealment? My concealment's 12.4. So it's, I guess you could potentially do a um, stealth radar build with this, uh, with this ship. Hmm, all quiet on the uh, eastern side of the map. Nothing to be seen. Siegfried, Worcester, and something else over on the left side. Hmm, Alaska and Worcester. Worcester, which Worcester? Oh, I'd missed it. There is a division. Worcester Omen. Okay. Is there only one Worcester? No, there are two. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. Only battleship is making a move. Uh, is that a battleship? No, that's a cruiser. Minnow. Another minnow. DD spotted in the center. Yeah, yeah, on my way. On my way. Although he's he's popped out right next to an Alaska and a minute minute, so uh Just make you wonder where the enemy battleship's gone. We should be able to cross the front of the Chalou. And the enemy battleship spotted over the far side. I think to for Des Moines build, I'm going to run aim assistance, propulsion, concealment. Ooh. Fair enough. She won't be very maneuverable.
Come on, propulsion mods. Oh, we haven't actually even turned it on. Oh, the AP is nice. Should use me. Note to self: use AP more often. Hopefully, I should be able to bow tank in Alaska. I didn't. I didn't even think about that. I can bow tank in Alaska. Right. My fat fingers keep hitting enter before I finish the message. <laughs> Damn it. Remember to open lead. It's the only thing I can kind of realise. Nice. Well, that's it. That's all she wrote. Right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Von Miller give you a high speed. I've got Von Miller and Bruce Fraser. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we have to see those higher, uh, high arc shells first. Yeah, high arc shells range might not be the best choice. That's very true. That's my thoughts as well. Yeah, well, well. Von Müller give you higher speed. Uh, I'd yeah, Von Müller. Yeah, Von Müller does give you higher speed um, in comparison. I'd love to be the, that C freak in this match. Yeah, that's true. That's for true. I'm not going to complain. Um, she did very well. Um, I, I think that's another one to add to the. Uh, I think I like this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I've gone for like a full on like speed demon build and rudder shift. I mean you. You could obviously improve on this. I mean, obviously, I haven't got Vedarushis ranked up. I haven't got Steer Clear ranked up. Um, yeah, I think she she's a reason. I think she's more of a mid range cruiser. That's kind of where you want to set stay. If you get too close, obviously, your agility might it's going to let you down. Especially as that, um, as battleships with very high caliber guns at this tier uh, will be able to easily pick you off uh, however at long range obviously your shell arcs are going to let you down you have to relieve the target the enemy's got lots of time to respond to those incoming shells um so yeah i think she's like a, a mid-range cruiser that's my thoughts let's uh, get some of these crates done let's just open them all there we go so that, yeah, that, there's the Des Moines. Okay, okay. Right, what's uh, what's next? The Flander. Oh, uh -huh, baby. Um, I think the Des Moines uh, build. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think I read that one. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Fans, I like to watch my we uh, wedding video running backwards so I can watch myself walk out of the church of free man. <laughs> At least I'm feeling low. low. I just. I just keep missed, uh, mistyping with my inaction. Uh, good to have, yeah. Sean, my wife is uh, make. Uh, uh, my wife wanted to make a cake. The recipe said separate two eggs, so she put one in the kitchen and the other in the living room. <laughs> uh, Mega Man, I might also run the spotter aircraft as well. I I can see that being quite tempting. Yeah, they already know what I'm on to. <laughs> I'm just gonna catch the chat. Uh, yeah, that right flank was very dull, unfortunately, Mara. It seems like we bulked that way, they bulked the other way. Uh, uh, Zuyu is available for Global XP for 750,000 right now, and she will be available going forward. Gosh, I look at uh, I look at Minotaur and have to say, uh, the British had such a beautiful ship. Amusingly, I'd say Minotaur's actually incorrect in the game. She, that's uh, B turret. She should have like an A, B C super firing turret, very similar to Atlanta. Although she is based on one of the Minotaur, Minotaur drawings, um, there was another Minotaur drawing which had the the triple kind of super firing turret arrangement, which obviously didn't well wasn't modelled by War Game. Anyway, Flander. Um, let's have a look at the, this stuff first of all. Damage control, repair party, enhanced secondary main battery that can't be swapped out for anything, and then we have an engine boost, and that seems to be. The reasonable uh, French one, I guess you could say. So, um, upgrades. Obviously, she's got the typical main armament uh, durability uh, module, which I think you, most people will probably take anyway. Um, apart from that, she's got the usual stuff there. Um, next module along, usual stuff again. <sighs> Concealment. I have no real choice there. Oh no, that's a um, uh, main. Uh, that's um, acquisition, isn't it? Target acquisition, which improves basically the um, the range which you also detect ships. And last but not least, we have just some more generic modules. So again, nothing special apart from the typical French main battery uh, durability, which comes in the first slot. Uh, Stats-wise, uh, HP seventy-five thousand four hundred. Torpedo reduction thirty-two percent. Uh, main battery, obviously she's got those 9 15 inch guns with a 33 second reload and a range of 17.5 kilometers. Um, okay, yeah, fair enough. Secondary battery, has got a 5 kilometer range base. AA defense, a lot of her AA is focused uh, on the 100 millimeter guns, uh, but they only do 207 damage per second. So AA range, I mean AA capability looks quite good. Um, in regards to the number, um, but a lot of it is focused on long range. So it looks like, like they kind of said, if, if stuff starts to get in close to your ship, um, it's you're not going to be really hurting it too much. Speed 33.5 knots, uh, 
<laughs> 33.5 knots off the base, turning circle 910 meters, same as hood, road shift 16.6 .6 seconds, concealment 14.8 kilometers by sea, 12.4 by air, and 14.1 from smoke. Armor scheme. Um, quite a lot of the 34 to 37 millimeter plating, which is capable of ricocheting, uh, 16 inch shells, and maybe even more as the rest of it. But it. So she seems like on paper to be quite durable, um, it would appear. Uh, however, she is French, and that always means that she has to be caveated. Uh, bow looks fine. Stern looks fine. You know, there's not really much going on. It's all the same colour. Um, interesting, worth, uh, while we're looking at it, she does have a turtle back. Um, can I get a decent zoom? There you go. You can kind of get an idea of the turtle back. Uh, torpedo bulge is obviously forming some of the um, outer lower armoured belt, uh, which is covering this uh, rather thick, chunky 200 and, well, 275 to 350 millimetres of plating. Uh, now, the internal turtle back appears to be 40 millimetres of plating, and then the outside wall of the sister is another 50 millimetres of plating. So she's got quite a, a decent amount of spaced armour, I guess you could say. Upper armoured belt, 32, deck 32. Superstructure, your typical 16mm of plate, no, 19 in this case, so, um, yeah. It's it's superstructure material, I guess you could say, not really much to mention. Uh, take that away. Uh, so that just leaves lower armoured belt, turrets and barbettes. Turrets and barbettes, that's a lot of chunky armour. It's, it's going to be interesting if she does suffer from, like, French turret disorder, I guess you could say. And then, uh, yeah, upper armoured belt, internal armoured deck. There's some really hefty, chunky armour here. Turrets and barbettes obviously going all the way down to the Sistel, and the Sistel is ever so slightly. Is it? Oh, that's hard to say. It's, I think it's ever so slightly above the waterline. Not by much, by a fraction, I want to say. Only just. Only just. Yep, but it's uh, yep from turret to turret is the best way to put it. Right, that's the arm scheme. Overview, fast, yep. Nimble aim. What's she got? 36 seconds per 180 degrees of rotation. Is that really nimble aim? I doubt it. I doubt she's actually got a nimble aim with a 36 second for 180 degrees of turret traverse. Uh, now, a full ahead can be equipped with it. It can can be equipped with an engine bit. So basically, um, it's all about her engines, it seems. Okay, okay, well let's get her kitted up and uh, ready to go. And uh, obviously, uh, thank you chaps in the background for uh, putting up while I go over this. Let's get a couple of boosters on there. And then, uh, what should we do modules wise? I think we're just going to go for the, the classic. We're going to put the uh, turret uh, durability on. Then I might go for propulsion because she's French. She's going to be quite speedy. Uh, we'll put the target acquisition. That's a, a pretty much a, a no choice on that one. I think main battery module 3 is more tempting, I guess you could say. And then we'll stick Gepetti on there uh, for the speed demon concealment. Yep, we'll go for that. Righto, chaps. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, so, Minotaur uh, should look more uh, more like a modern Dido. Yes, yes. More, most likely, if she ever did go into actual final um, final design, um, uh, the, the opinion of Dr. Alex Clark is that she would have gone for like a, a Dido gun arrangement. Just just based off of the the way the, the Royal Navy, they really didn't like the turret arrangement of uh, Nelson where one turret couldn't shoot forward. And so um, he, he kind of feels that um, that kind of displeasure from not being able to shoot all turrets forward to front, which are forward mounted, uh, would have uh, probably influenced her design a little bit more. I think we'll go over to the right flank. Oh. Vaz, the ship's on sale, 30% off. That's a surprise. And yeah, not the 50%. <laughs> no time limit on Suzu either. Yes, yeah, she is permanently available. We'll probably give her a spin after this game. Uh, does Saipan have um, jets? 
it shows it in the brewery. No, she doesn't come with jets. She just comes with standard aircraft. She was the first game of this live stream, so you can always uh, rewind and check that out. And if you're watching, oh, hello, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is why you should not read your chat at the start of the game. Anyway, while we're doing this, Shirazatsuyu, Summers, Targo, Sean Horse, KG5, Ki, Richelieu, Massachusetts, and Ophibio. I think we're clear to go. There we go. We have HE loaded. Right, let's see and see if I can catch up. Yeah, I'm aware if Minotaur's supposed to look like Flint and Lanta, but sadly she's um, modelled like Worcester, yeah. Yep, that's 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 war gaming for you. Did it did it did it did it. Bit risky kicking it out here, but we're just going to keep doing it, I think. Pardon me. Isn't Flander in the uh, in the Little Mermaid? <laughs> oh. Also, yeah, hello, Preston. Good to see you. Ah, uh, yeah, piss, piss doing Japan. So I found her had jets later on, and maybe that's why they're in the bureau as a historic info. Yeah. That's the most likely reason for their reference. Right, let's start getting this ship turned in. What we might do, we might see if we can stick this butte in a straight line and see how fast she goes with a speed build. Anyone want to place your bets now? Because we didn't check in the bureau. Well, in the, uh, in the stats, I should say. Um, Mara, uh, I'm just surprised that Sopan gets into the game for Enterprise. I think it might be testing of the aircraft for the Enterprise. You never know, because if Enterprise comes to the game, she has to kind of come in at Legendary Tier, or be a heavily nerfed Tier 7. Fans, of the two Tier 6 DDs on sale, Z35 or the Terrabell? Uh, Z35. Z35, hands down for me. Flander without engine boost uh, gets to six. Uh, that's sixty knots, fifty knots. Now we get to forty point one. What's the most effective way to remember your wife's birthday? Forget it once. <laughs> Right, we're gonna have to see where this cruiser turns up. Yes, in the targo. That's two torpedo launchers. So, targo has said, "Yes, please." The fifteen-inch shells. That's why I'm doing a hard support at the moment. Right, there we go. We managed to dodge those torpedoes. That's good. I think we'll load up some HE and work over the bow tanking. Uh, British Lou. Hello, Stephen Fox. Hello, hello, hello. My uncle came up with a great way to remember his wedding anniversary. He got married on his birthday. <laughs> That, sir, uh, is certainly one way to uh, to never forget. Yeah, 
it's a little bit awkward our map control at the moment because they're pushing from over there. I mean, if because this Rishalu here, we're kind of I can't kind of wrap around their flank. No, oh, okay, that Rishalu is gone. Uh, that Flander is gone. Gotta get this angled before he shoots. That should do it. Classic French armor. Things like Rashley is really causing an awkward crossfire. Are we angled enough? I think just. this crossfire. I'd like to know what those two blue battleships are doing. If I can get rid of this crossfire that's been caused by the Richelieu, I might be alright.
Oh, why won't you die? Finally. Sean Horse knows can't resist fifteen inch guns. Two and a half minutes. Don't know if it'll work, but we're just going to do that. Taking the risks. Oh, he's gone. Okay, I didn't know that. Oh. <laughs> Under a minute left. We secure it. <laughs> Sean, I do like the music. Well, much obliged. Well, sometimes we play jazz, but most of the time we do play marching band music. GG, I thought we lost that one at one point. Yeah, no, I completely agree. I almost thought we were done for. There was a point where it kind of like our left flank completely collapsed and came around back, but we managed to get, yeah, let's get rid of that Richelieu. That was the best way to, to, get, to do it. Stumpy, what Royal Navy CV would you like next, Major? Um, I mean, if, if you said I could pick anything, if you said I could pick anything, Probably, I'd probably go for Eagle if I could pick anything. But if you say I have to pick something that has been modelled, then I guess you have to go for Ark Royal. I mean, there's only really Ark Royal Audacious, I think. Those are the only two. Now, oh, that's a lot of knots. Those are a lot of knots. I do. Ooh. Ooh. Um, yeah. I mean, I think that game was just more down to just, uh, just positioning and uh, other things like that, thankfully. Well, let's open the box. Let's get over and done with. 
there. Oh, insignia. Okay, fair enough. Uh, right, so we've done the three new ships this patch. Uh, so let's go for the Suzuyu next. So um, as some of you may know, the Suzuyu has become available for Global XP. Um, let's put a no pay to win commander on there. Um, you, you don't you don't need pay to win. There we go. So we're, yeah, we just stick a bit of a bit of a Mikoa build on there. So Suzuyu has become available for uh, seven hundred and fifty thousand Global XP. Um, so if you missed out on the campaign, you can obviously pick her up. And uh, yeah, we'll take her out for a spin. Um, uh, obviously, my stats do have a commander on here. There's not much. Wow. Maybe I could negate that. Let's see. If I put a, a, a bare bones commander on, who's useless? You're completely useless there. If I put a useless commander on there, uh, so bear in mind, I have got aim assistance, propulsion mod, steering gears module 3. Yeah. And uh, main battery, uh, con fire control. Um and yeah, I, okay, I'll take the battle booster off. And I'll take the camera off. Obviously, you can check the stats in store if you so wish. Uh, but obviously, yep, sonar, um, defensive AA, catapult fighter, heal, uh, stats wise, survivability, main battery, artillery and secondaries, torpedoes. Um, some interesting things with the torpedoes when we come to looking at them. Um, AA defense, if you're. Japanese AA is usually pretty poor, and you can see it there. I mean, 40 per second from her long range, 20 per second, and 7 per second from her medium and short range. That's pretty poor. 34.5 knots, 750 meter turning circle, 3.4 second rudder shift. Well, that's with steering gears module 3 only. Um, uh, so that's quite good. She's got a very good rudder shift. So, ooh, so I bet if I stick um, a Mikawa agility build with no pay to win. Uh, she's going to be really movie in the water, isn't she? Or well, 2.6 second relish. You, yeah, you, you don't need pay to win with, with the, the Zuyu. She's already paid to win in her own right, I guess you could say. Let's get her launched. Do you fear this? I don't know. Arc Royal, please. Fair enough, fair enough. Sean, is that not a battle hymn? Well, there's quite a few battle hymns. They're mostly from marching bands. Mara, we did it, yeah. <laughs> we got there in the end. I have no planes anymore, Major. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need planes. <laughs> uh, 131k damage from Makaga. Holy moly. Nice, nice work, nice work. Didn't Eagle exist? Well, the Eagle does exist. Um, obviously, she's... Oh, God, when she gets sunk. She got sunk on a motor convoy. Um, but in game, she's not modelled. Um, in game, um, the only models that Wargaming have made of Royal Navy aircraft carriers um, is Hermes, Furious, um, Implacable, Audacious, Ark Royal. Um, I think there might be another one. Um, but also, I, I, well, I get, is it Hur Hurubaki, uh, the, uh, the giant iceberg aircraft carrier? She exists. <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> right, let's quick, take a quick look at the shipping forecast and what we're looking at. Kagero, a fantastic division. Shimikaze, Knetsov, Edinburgh, Minotaur, Bismarck, Vanguard, Yamato. Okie dokie. Oh yes, that is a tier 7. No, try Mikawa on the Suzy. Yeah, yeah, I've got Mikawa. I've got Mikawa. <laughs> I was only using someone useless uh, just to go through the stats properly. Um, but yeah, I think, yeah, you, you don't really, I think you could get away without doing an agility build, but without going full agility build on the Suzuyu because she's already got a very good um, rudder shift uh, with steering gears module uh, 3. Got some widespread long lances. Getting a fire with the first volley. Can't complain about that. Connects off tucked in behind the island. Minotaur might be in range, so we'll have a have a poke at that. Yep. Now we might do a quick tactical beach. Uh, let the uh, let the, the ships cooks off and see if they can pick up some, some nice sake for us. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it, chaps? Oh, I wish I hadn't said that. I know I kind of fancy some sake. I 
have to. <laughs> I'll, have, I'll have to put a shopping order. Uh, put a request in with the missus. <laughs> we don't turn into the island again we actually got a torpedo hit on something god knows what potentially a dd there's definitely a dd out there somewhere i'd say it's a criv just just a just fyi there's something out there and on that bomb shot i think I might see if we can help with this minnow Now, the amusing one with minnows, if you want to try and minimise the incoming damage from one, um, manoeuvre and stay bow in. Oh, that's yummy shells. Ooh. What's that? That's um, X turret disabled. And there goes a minnow. Oh boy. That's the division. I'm gonna put the sonar on now because I think I I've obviously made my presence known that there's the chances are these destroyers may have loosed out some torpedoes. I think so in our range of tier 7 is... We'll have a look. We'll have a quick peep. 4.4. Oh. Oh, she's doubled back into Bravo. Oh, 7.8, that is danger close. She's beard. This is gonna hurt. Not a lot we can do about it. Shimagazi doing what she does best. Wait for the destroyer to kick it round, and then when she's broad, give her a good. Nice. Well, let's secure the cap. Let's check the time. See, we started the stream at nine o'clock. We're at quarter past ten, so we've got about three quarters of an hour left. We've covered all of the new ships. So, um, what we might take a look at next will be a new commander to the game. Major any news on the new Cossack? Nothing that I know of, unfortunately, uh, Stumpy. Most certainly, if, if I knew something about the new Cossack, you, you would be the first to know, Stumpy. Uh, oh, it, yes, Eagle is a super carrier on, obviously, uh, for the United States, I think. Uh, but also, e Eagle is a, um, a, a British carrier name as well.
Stephen Fox, hello. Could always have the audacious uh, class eagle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I could live with that. <laughs> Jeff Dave, uh, there was an audacious class uh, character called eagle. Um, not, I guess you mean the 1928 one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sean Brooker, ice and sawdust. 1918 one, yeah, that's, that's the one, Dave. Uh, yeah, Jeff Dave. Apologies. Um, for some reason, we have AP loaded, so uh, let's see what some 6 inch AP can do on the side of Bismarck. Yeah, 3,600 damage, I'm not going to complain. Might chuck another volley in. Might even chance my arm with another volley into the superstructure. And now we have an Edinburgh. Okay, okay. I might do. Yeah, Bismarck should die. We just bow tank the uh, the Edinburgh for a bit. Need to really get that bow in though. Come on. Now it's a turret disabled, is it? Ah, damn, she's just angled enough. Send her on. Oh, we might be able to. Double strike. Nice. Ah. <laughs> uh. Suzuya. <laughs> Can't decide between Suzuya, Kia, or Azuma. As Van says, Suzuya. <laughs> Leave the other two alone. They're horrible. <laughs> uh, well, no problem. Uh, I get used to, ca uh, to, to keep a cap alone without success. Uh, Pan Asian DDs, only downside. My only. I'm not sure whether I missed it just because I was chatting with it, but uh, Criv, if you end up in engagement with a DD, ping the DD. Uh, that usually gets my attention. Uh, Stefan, would be inter interesting to see what kind of defence the 1918 uh, Eagle would have in game. Uh, BB armour, nine six inch guns, would make her a bit more uh, tanky than most CVs. I think, yeah, she'd be a really interesting tier 3 premium potentially, I guess you could say as well. Well, well we. Um, yeah, a double strike. You know, no, no complaints there. Ooh, ooh, okay. Maybe I, maybe I should start streaming on Mondays. <laughs> I'm not usually, I don't usually have this much nice games. Obviously, the silent support from Marvel Griff and Mara is much appreciated, and they're doing quite good. Sorry, I died before I could uh, ping Major. No, no, it's perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Okay, let's just get these open. There we go. Um, yeah, so, okay, next thing we're, we're going to talk about, okay, so we talked about, we've done the three new uh, ships that are obviously available straight away, uh, the two brewery ships and the um, campaign ship, we've taken a quick spin in the Global XP ship that's come to the game, so let's take a look into um, a new commander, I guess you could say, 
So, um, obviously, if you go into the commander screen, no Pan Europe, okay? If you go to the store and if you go to commanders, obviously, no Pan Europe, okay? So, only it seems that like only if you have a Pan European ship do you note that you have this commander. If you go here, there we are. We have Conrad, Conrad Health. <laughs> Healthric? I'm gonna how that's not gonna be my guess. Anyway, so his base trait is increase ship AA damage per second and movement speed. Let's take a look at the commander profile. So it's a pretty generic commander. Um it's your utility commander, I guess you could say. So obviously contact Zimnan, burn it down, no flying zone, before it's too late, crisscross, look at me now, back in stock, Belarusius, fortified. Stand or four, steer clear, reaching out, unstoppable, will to rebuild, and fully packed. So, at the moment, Pan Europe only has um, destroyers. So, there's only the. Um, pardon me, I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have, to have a quick sip to drink. <clears throat> pardon me. Right. So it's a pretty utility commander, and obviously we've got Schwertzky as a destroyer commander. Now, um, I'm not really sure. Oh, have a have a good night, Jeff, Dave. Much obliged for popping by. Actually, to me, I, I'm being I'm always pretty poor at this. Um, if you are enjoying the live stream, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you are uh, new here, feel free to subscribe. Um, obviously, you, usual YouTube shilling. All right, that's over and done with. I can stop that now. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, a pretty utility commander. So what we do is we we take him out for a spin. Um, now. We'll rank him up to level 10. No, we do rank, we do rank him up to level 11. And we'll make him legendary 1. Okay. And um, let's take him out on... I'll let the chat decide. Um, let, me, let me just quickly uh, do the chat. Oh wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the spellings wrong. So let me just quickly, I put a vote into the chat. Uh, let me get the spellings right. B L Y S K A W I C A. Orkin, uh, and an option. Friesland. So we're going to take out this new commander, and I'm going to ask the community. There you go. What, which one of these pan-European DDs should I play with the new commander? Uh, while we're um, doing that, we'll take a look at the commander and see maybe what we can do with him. Um, because obviously, as a, if we use him as a DD commander, there's only certain things we're probably going to do. Admittedly, he's got quite a nice AA build. Um, which makes me quite tempted maybe to try... I mean, a DDs don't really have the greatest AA unless you're taking the Friesland. I mean, if you're playing a DD, you have to take a look at me now. And generally, you want to be taking Eric Bay as an inspiration. So we'd get that going. Because I, I think that's just a no-go. Well, not, not a no-go. It is like a must-have. That's what I want to say. So let's put Eric Bay on there. Let's take a look at me now. Now, depending on which one, which one the chat chooses, back in stock, Belarusius or fortified. I think they're all quite interesting choices. Obviously, you don't want back in stock on the Friesland. Friesland has no torpedoes. Belarusius is quite tempting. I mean, that ties in with the speed as well. So that could be quite interesting. Steer clear, reaching out, or. Um, Stand up four. Now, obviously, with a DD, we're going to want unstoppable race beams. We want to keep those engines going, especially if we end up in engagement. Let's have a quick look at the chair, the uh, that the pole. How are we doing? Yeah, Beast of Isco is actually in the lead at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to I'll continue building the command build uh, with the intention of uh, Beast of Isco. So, if we're going to use the Beast of Isco, um, she's not that amazing AA wise. She's pretty generic destroyer, so probably probably go for Sims. Oh, oh, the free, the Friesland and the Beast of are now in a tie. <laughs> oh, come on, chaps. Come on, chaps. 
One more vote for, for one of those. Do not, whoever's got the spare vote, do not vote for the Orca and make it a tie for, between all three because that's not going to help. <laughs> oh. oh, you're, you're a terrible chap. Um, I'm waiting for the, oh, come on, someone break the deadlock. Um, let's see. It would be interesting to see if he uh, leads to a full Dutch line, uh, like on PC. Um, or maybe, maybe in time. A meme game on the Friesland with a torpedo skill. Now that's just a waste of a skill. Alright, chat, you're going to force me to actually pick between the two, are you? I think if you were going to go Friesland, you would go for Belarusus and no fly zone. You might as well. And my temptation is maybe to go for st steer clear. Steer clear? No point getting the range. Actually, maybe we'll go for stand. No. No, because the reload's already quite quick. Maybe we'll go for that. And they go for the beach to Vizca. Right, okay. Right, I'm going to end the poll there before someone else votes. There we go. <laughs> right, we'll go for beach to Right, with beach to in mind. We'll go for back in stock. We'll go for the improve the chance of fires. Um, which is pretty standard. We'll stick with steer clear. Yeah, we'll stick with this command build. So we'll go for the Bishvishka. And we'll stick Conrad on there. Uh, tier 6. There we go, chaps. What about the Huang He? Huang He is Pan Asia, unfortunately. <laughs> Be supposed to help defend the cows. Yes. Major, I just put, purchased Orkin on my very first Pan Europe ship. Uh, I've only got Conrad as a commander. No Schwertzky. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. So we've got Beast Vizca, we've got the Vacrolin. Oh, while, while we're here, while we're waiting for um, for uh, our crew to pick a ship, let's go to the desk, because we haven't done the desk for a little bit. And uh, as you may see, we have updated the picture of the Queen. <laughs> we've gone even further back in time. Uh, this is a recommendation um, on a comment on the previous stream. The name, uh, the name escapes me. Um, let me just double quickly double check. Because I should be able to. Who was it? Uh, oh, I want to say uh, Professor FB. Uh, Pro Professor FB uh, recommended we change the picture of the Queen. Uh, to uh, a more fitting 1950s picture, and so uh, there we go. Much obliged. There she is, watching over us, uh, sending us through. <laughs> right, we're all ready to go, so we're just going to get that launched in the background. We've got a triple DD division. Uh, may I submit a ticket towards war? I would, I'd probably mention it because obviously, if they haven't come out and announced it, yeah, this is the thing, like Vaz says, they haven't announced it, so I'd be tempted to, to at least push them um, against it, really. I want to push for it. Mara, ah, so the abandoned um, Swirtsky to clean the Nerf uh, perm camo drama. I, maybe, maybe. But this is the thing, they, have, they, they, they haven't really announced it or anything like that. And I don't like, I don't like it when they do stuff like that. Like, either they, they sh it should grant you both. If it granted you both, then you just go, oh, okay, fair enough. But it does make you wonder whether... Um, Pan Europe uh, DDs are oh, wow, our forthcoming tech tree. Right, we're just going to quickly get our uh, destroyer in position. We're going to um, sneak around the other side of the island. Uh, Ognavoy, Vakulin. Okay, an interesting, interesting division. A strange division. Akatsuki, Mass, Benson, Cleveland, oh no, oh no, Radar, okay, great. Francesco Cacilio, North Carolina, Valavistock, Flander, Champagne. 
yes, I know, I say it wrong. Would I rather remind myself of future ram and then call it champagne? 1960. Uh, 1950 was uh, King George V on the throne, right? Nine. Uh, no, no, you're pushing me. No, you're pushing me. Um. Yes, I think King George V was on the throne. Yeah, through the 50s. I want to say until was it 1967? I think I, I'm really like having a stab in the dark with that one. Mm, at the moment, I don't really want to be engaged in the Benson. But we're engaged now. like him to chase me. Yeah, because Queen Elizabeth was on the throne during decimalization, which happened in 1971, I think. that was going to happen. Oh, nice work. Right, uh, the Cleve is it the Cleveland? Yeah, Cleveland's at Alpha, so I don't want to be going anywhere near Alpha. So let's get moving over towards the Charlie objective and see if I help out take out the enemy DD. Uh, 1952, okay, died in 52. What am I thinking of? Hmm, yeah, that's it. Yeah, my bad. My my royal family history is not not the greatest. Unfortunately, I was one of those kids who didn't have the ruler at school, which had all the the kings and queens and dates on the back of it. I'm more of the kid who had the ruler, which uh, had the conversion of inches to millimeters on the back instead. <laughs> mm, I can't chip in. To be honest, I don't think I need to. I think Mara, yeah, Mara's got that sus. Strange factual torpedoes. Mm. Oh, she does take it. But, oh, has he turned into them perfectly? Ooh. Nice. Oh, not so nice. Problem resolved there. Oh, hello, Stefan Fox. Hello, hello. Let's see. She's still in reverse. 
should we be surprised? She is French. Oh, she's got propulsion mods and that. She sped up really quick. Punch she might ram the island. Will that be enough to catch her out? I don't know. Gotta remember she has got propulsion mods. I don't think that's gonna work. Ooh. Uh, tech pretty when firing the smoke's only 2.5. Oh, there she goes. Ah, it's a bit of a waste of a smoke's room, but I'm not going to be able to traverse the map in this time and engage the remaining ships, so I don't feel too bad. Thank God there's no friendly fire. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's the game, just in time. Yeah, that's the advantage of not having a monarchy. I yeah, never had to learn the stuff in school. Wow. It depends where you're from, I guess. Because I, otherwise, you got to learn all. Is it learn all the states or all the presidents or something like that? Nicely done. Yeah, we we tied it up quite nicely. Let's see how we did. One, two, and four. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to complain about four from that one. I wasn't really paying attention. Right. Well, we've played and showcased everything new-ish, I guess you could say. We've done the two bureau ships, the one campaign ship, the one global XP ship, and the one sneaky commander which has somehow introduced himself into the game without us being told, of course. Um, so I don't think there's anything else really to to do. Um, and I don't want to be drumming home... Um, I don't want to be drumming home stuff that we've already covered. So I think on that bombshell, uh, I guess we have this stuff. I mean... It's a geyser, though, this is the thing. It, it doesn't really matter. I mean, where's geysers? Let's see. So we can put the geysers on here. Um, I think the traces are blue. Honestly, I, I, it, it, it's a geyser that you can just turn off. I don't really care too much for this stuff. Um, I mean, them giving us some for free, you know? Hey, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, but 5,000 doubloons for the other ones? Hell no. I'm, yeah. You can see I actually don't equip any of them. Because I, I don't care about them that much. But yeah, so that's the only other new content. So obviously, much obliged chaps for joining with the science support in the division. Uh, and I think we'll wrap it up. We have 12 presents to present, so it's hard uh, to, to which uh, after I left school. Ooh. We hold it up pretty well, yes, we did, thankfully. Well, uh, night, 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 Stumpy. We're just, we're just wrapping up here. Um, I think what we do is we, um, I think, yeah, I think we'll put, just get a ship ready to put in the background as we start to sign off. Yeah, we go. We'll do for this one. But yeah, thank you everyone for coming along. Hopefully, um, there's something in there for everyone. Uh, you can always go back and uh, check out the section that you. Uh, 
does interest you and what I'll also do is once the stream's finished I will go back and put timestamps in for everyone so you can always just check out the part that you want. So going through the chat I'd say thank you to uh, Kim Mike X Gaming, to Action Pumper, to Jeff Permanton, to Admiral Kriv, to uh, Sean Whitlin, to Marasov, uh, to the Competitive Gamer, much obliged, to Jets Fan, thank you very much. Thank you to Jeff Dave as well and Mechaman13. And I'd like to say thank you to Faz Vegas as well for popping by. Much obliged. And also a Vlad Meister. Good to see you. And Randy Chang. Hello, hello. Thank you. Oh, who else we have? Um, good to see you, Soldy Sacks. See, who else did we have today? Thank you, Stumpy West. Much obliged. And to Sean Brucker. Good to see you. And Dimophilus, much obliged. Uh, good to see you, uh, Stefan Fox. I think that might be everyone who's come to the chat. But obviously, if you didn't come to the chat, I will say thank you to you as well. <laughs> Feel free to give it a thumbs up before you go and uh, subscribe if you like this kind of content. We, we do, I do more live streams these days, but we do try and do the odd video. Although this week, um, if I do do a video, it won't be coming out tomorrow. It'll probably be coming out probably Thursday if I get round to doing one. Well, stay safe, stay well. Have a good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and a good night wherever you are in the world. Uh, thank you to Morris Olver and Albert for being the silent support during this live stream. And until next time... I'm the guy from Asia, and uh, there's the Des Moines, which uh, is the second game of the live stream. Stand fast. Oh, I should have. There you go, chaps. Yeah. Until next time, I'm the guy from Asia. Back to the pool.